Every year, the Powderham Estate attracts around 35,000 visitors from all over the UK. But there are some guests who travel from much further afield. This must be a wonderful landscape for wildfire. It's so peaceful. Yeah, during the winter, you'll see large amounts of widgeon and teal. The birds nest in the northwest of Russia. Gracious. Yeah, no, so, so they come across. all that way to yes. here. Yeah, yeah, the comfort of our winter. Do you shoot any of the wild duck? Yeah, we do shoot um, a very, very small percentage of them each year, um, which we would take away and eat, obviously. Duck has been on the menu at Powderham for over 300 years, but you don't need to live on a country estate to enjoy it. This is my pan-fried breast of duck, served with a rich apple sauce with Calvados, in honor of the Courtney family's French heritage. I really like duck, and so often over the years, I've done it duck a l'orange, but it goes really well with apples. I like to remove the skin. Use a sharp knife for any tough bits. So that's come off very nicely. Season the duck breasts. That's it. Then fry them in a hot pan for four minutes on each side. Right. That looks a bit of all right. Lovely colour there. Then it's over. That smells pretty good. Once they're evenly cooked on both sides, leave them to rest for 15 minutes. And resting is all important. Why? Because the heat that you've had on the outside will go on cooking, and also it makes it more tender. Then it's on to my apple and calvados sauce, made with eating apples. I'm going to do it in butter because I want the buttery taste. There's a tiny little bit of residue from the duck, and that will help to give a little bit of brown to my apples. Gently cook the apple slices until they're tender and golden. Now that's getting soft, but not quite. The reason why I wouldn't use something like a brandy, a cooking apple, because it gets to this stage and it would be a beautiful buttery mush, and I don't want that. I want to have a bit of texture within the sauce. I reckon we're there. Now leave the apple to cool. That's it. Then it's time for the star of my sauce, Calvados. Of course, Calvados is apple brandy. I'm using 100 ml, and I'm just going to evaporate that just until it's half. That'll drive off the alcohol. Mind you, that smell, it makes me think of Christmas. It makes me think of special things. It's lovely. Once the Calvados has reduced by half, it's on to the next part of the sauce. 100 ml of stock and 200 ml of apple juice. Add to the pan and reduce again. I want the sauce to be slightly thickened, so I'm going to do that with corn flour instead of flour. It gives a more translucent look to the sauce. Mix a teaspoonful of corn flour with a splash of apple juice. Add some of the sauce. In it goes. Give that a good stir. Back into the pan there. And bring it to the boil, stirring as it thickens. I'm going to add the apple to it now. And take it off the heat. I don't want that apple to go all mushy. For an extra hit of flavour and colour, add any remaining juices from the meat to the pan. Right, we're ready to serve. I want it to be a gentle pink, and I think that's just what I've achieved, and I'm rather pleased about that. I reckon that took me about half an hour to make. Oh, so simple to do, and yet so special. And who better to sample it than the Countess? Or AJ, as she's known to everyone here at Powdrum. AJ. Come in. <laughs> I hope you're hungry. Come in and have a taste. Oh, it smells amazing. I feel very lucky right now. It's perfect. The sauce isn't too rich. That you no can cream take in there. The, no, no cream at it's all. It's perfect combination. So how did you come to be Countess here when you've come from America? <laughs> 
I met him at a bar in Vegas. I had organized um, a bachelorette weekend. A hen weekend. A hen weekend. And I was on a TV show at the time, so I could get a really cool suite. You were doing a show, you, so you were acting? Yes. Before she moved to Powdrum, AJ enjoyed a successful career as an actress in America. Over the years, she starred in shows including Seinfeld, My So-Called Life, and Baywatch. So, <laughs> as an actress, you were in a bar, and I looked across the bar, and I smacked my girlfriend, and I said, that one, yum. I can see you saying that, too. <laughs> well, who wouldn't? <laughs> and he was just smiling and flopping his floppy hair, and we just looked at each other and smiled. So when you got to know uh, Charlie mm -hmm. quite well when in Las Vegas, <laughs> did you know, in fact, Mary. that he had a title? No, no. One of the guys said, um, hey, that's a good one. He's royalty. And, um, but I didn't... I didn't take it in? No. And then the next morning, I called my mom and I said, Mom, I've met the guy. We had a rendezvous in New York, like, a month later. Letters started coming, and then phone calls like clockwork. And then we went to Isle of Skye, and then we drove back, and he said, do you want to meet my parents? And um, I was like, wow, serious. And we show up at this house, and it's like this long driveway, then these amazing gardens, and then this stone castle comes up. And I was just like, wow, this can't be for real. And it still happens, where you look out and just go, it's magic. That is a truly romantic story. I can only guess what it must have been like for AJ moving to this very different world and taking on this vast house with centuries of history and tradition. <laughs> 